We're going to do that tonight, though. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming out to the coffee house. The Vintage Paris is a place I've played from time to time over the last several years. Uh, but this is the first time I've had a chance to come out with Damascus Highway, the complete band. Uh, the Damascus Highway Band is a family band, the Griffiths family. And I'll just take a minute to go ahead and introduce them. On a lead electric guitar is Rod Griffiths. And his, uh, his brother, uh, Carl Griffiths, is playing drums for us tonight. His other brother, Curtis Griffiths, is playing bass guitar. And his mother is playing keyboards. That's Bella, Bella Griffiths. So that's the whole Griffiths family, practically, uh, backing up on all the Tom Lovato uh, songs. So I'm real thankful to have them. They've been a good friend of mine for many years, and we're happy to have them join us. we still got a lot of practicing and rehearsing to do, but I hope you enjoy this evening. Uh, recently, uh, we got together for a few rehearsals with uh, my wife's co-worker, Cheryl, who's joining us in the audience. Her husband, Tim, is going to be playing some acoustic rhythm guitar. Happy to have Tim Harrison with us. And uh, I would also like to point out that both Tim and Rod and Curtis will be switching off playing bass guitar on a variety of tunes here throughout the evening. So, with that being said, I'd like to open up in a word of prayer. So, you just bow your head and we'll ask the Lord's blessing on this evening. Father, we come before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. And we know that every time the word says that we get together, we get together in one accord, you're hearing our prayer. And let this prayer come to your ears. We agree, Lord, that you are Lord. You are mighty, you are awesome, and you are able to save from the guttermost to the uttermost. And Lord, if our music ministry has anything to do with making that possible, giving someone hope, giving them encouragement, oh, we do it all to the glory of you, Lord, and your name. And so, Lord, as we begin this uh, evening's concert, we pray that your Holy Spirit would abide with us and minister, Lord, through this music. And we ask in the name above all names, Christ Jesus. And those that agreed said, Amen. Amen. Everybody. 
some more of those made up. I just recently gave away the last copy of that to Tim so he can learn songs off of it. So we'll be getting some more printed up. We got some of the 5 minutes to 12 CD available tonight if you think you want to take home some of this music. I used to be in a band called Under Grace. You remember that the, uh, the scripture says in Romans uh, chapter 6, 13 and 14, it says to yield your members as instruments to God. And it says that we are not under the law, but we're under grace. And so back in the 90s, uh, I was in a Christian rock group, and uh, I was a co-lead vocalist and lead songwriter uh, with another guy named Victor, who has since passed away, I'm sorry to say. Uh, but in that time frame, uh, we put together a, a number of his songs, a number of my songs in, in a Christian, not quite heavy metal, but certainly heavy rock uh, vein. And this was one of them. We're going to play a little bit more. Uh, mellower, but it's still an upbeat tune called Mary and Martha. You might remember that story, right? Mary was the worshipful one, and Martha was what they might call a busybody, right? Listen to the lyrics, and it'll help you to remember that how that story went. One. Amen. 
Mary and Martha. A little review of the gospel story, right? Probably at a time like this, for an introduction for this song, I might share my whole testimony, but that typically takes at least 45 minutes, and we've only played two songs. So I'll just give a short intro to this tune called Come Unto Me. In parentheses, I can see you, and that's because God can see you. He knows right where you're at. He knows right what your struggle is right now. And even though you may feel all alone in a crowded space, He knows right where you're at. And isn't that a beautiful thing to know? So I say that this is, this is my personal testimony in song. It doesn't give all the details, but it gives enough to say, I once was lost, but now I'm found. And like blind man Bartimaeus, right? Crying out to the Savior to open his eyes, I was in the same place. And though the lyric, the first opening lyrics is, well, I guess it's been about 25 years ago. I got saved in 1984. That was a lot longer than 25 years ago. But we're going to use that line just as a point of reference. Here we go. Begging you 
been about 26 years ago oh, oh, oh. 